guys, it's Nora. I'm with my friend Fabrizio and we have a really fun adventure planned for us today. As you can see, we're in a parking lot getting all our metal detecting equipment ready and we're gonna be going across the street to a beautiful beach hoping to find some lost treasure. So let's grab our gear, get down into the water and see what we can find. We're gonna be metal detecting in front of the Negresco Hotel. This hotel is hundreds and hundreds of years old and probably millions of people have been to it over the years swimming in front of it, losing their belongings. So we're hoping to find some really... Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. So we're hoping to actually find some pretty old finds today if it hasn't been cleaned out already. Fingers crossed. Yeah, exactly. Let's go to check out. old man stopped me while I was metal detecting and asked if I had found a platinum ring. Then his son came over and said his father fell at the water's edge and when he went to push off the ground, the ring slipped off his finger. If there is a from this walkway and the other uh, walkway, yes. these two. Yes, because it's wild. He was, uh, yes, these two. So here yeah, somewhere. On side. Okay. Okay. Between the two. I'll check again. Thank you. 
What did you find there? Someone found my coil. <laughs> and something else, also yellow. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna go back to the car, drive home, and then we'll show you what we found today. Before we take a closer look at my finds, I'd like to first stop and thank Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is a VPN service and VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It encrypts your data so all of your personal information is hidden from hackers. It also gives you the ability to change your virtual location. And I don't know if you guys know this, but content from streaming services can be restricted based on what country you're in. When I was in Europe, for example, I simply changed my location to the US and I was able to watch all my Netflix shows that would normally be blocked to European viewers. Another great reason to be able to change your virtual location is prices on flights, hotels, and car rentals are all different based on what country you're trying to purchase them from. A great example of that is when I was trying to buy my ticket from the US to France, I was being charged $100 more than when I changed my location to a country within Europe. Surfshark also allows you to download files safely, protects you from hackers and trackers, and prevents you from getting bombarded with personalized ads. The best part is you could run Surfshark on all platforms, unlimited devices on a single subscription. Surfshark's actually having a Black Friday sale, so if you click the link in the description and use code NORA, you'll get 84% off plus four months for free. Once again, thank you so much Surfshark for sponsoring another video. Now let's take a closer look at my finds for the day. All right guys, as usual, I'll start with my trash finds. I found a bottle cap and a pull tab. 
There was a pretty good amount of these aluminum rocks, but luckily they were pretty easy to find and I didn't waste too much time trying to dig for them. Next, I have a bunch of random metal pieces. I'm not sure what any of these are from, but if anyone knows, please let me know. This one looks like it says A and B on top. This seems to be some sort of knob to something, maybe from a boat or... I'm not sure exactly. If anyone knows, please let me know. This looks like it was a handle to something. And I'm not too sure what this piece is from. When I found these, I thought they were coins at first, but it turns out they're just round pieces of aluminum. Next, I have all these lead weights. This one says 75 grams, I believe, and this one says 80. They're pretty similar in size, but this is the biggest one I found. This looks pretty standard, and I've never found three tied together before, so that was pretty interesting. Next, I have all my coins. I found just over five euros. This one is so bent, and I think that's from the rock smashing against it. I found this red ring. I don't think it's silver or anything like that on the inside. It's just metal with some sort of red paint or red plastic on the outside. Still a pretty cool find though. I did say I wanted to find something really old today and I believe the silver ring was in there a very long time. The front face was either copper or some sort of metal but as you can see it's completely corroded away. Turned green and yeah that's what tells me that it's been in there a while. On the inside, there's a stamp, 925 silver, and the silver did clean up very nicely. It was pretty black when I found it. There's a black stone on the front face, and I believe this is the Turkish flag symbol. If anyone knows what kind of stone it's carved into, please let me know. And now for my favorite find of the day. Well, actually, this is probably my second favorite find of the day because while I was metal detecting, an older gentleman tapped me on the shoulder while I was swimming and he told me he just lost his ring. So what happened was he was walking into the water and he actually fell so his son went to help him up. So when he put his hand down to help himself up, the ring came off his finger. Luckily I was there and I was able to find it. It was a beautiful PT Platinum ring. He was so happy to get it back and who knows if that's a memory from his wife or something like that. You never know what connection some of these pieces of jewelry have to people. So now the best find that I've got to keep is this AU585 gold ring. As you can see, it's yellow and white gold, and it's a very chunky ring. It's super heavy, and this was my first find of the day, actually. I've never had a gold ring as my first find, and actually my last find was the silver ring. So Pretty incredible day today. I found a gold ring to start, a silver ring to finish, and I was able to return that guy's platinum ring, which he probably thought he lost forever. Be sure to go over to Fabrizio's channel, see what he found today, because he had some really cool finds, actually. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, buy the merch if you want to support the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Ciao, belli! What are you doing, Nora? I'm adding some water to my soapy water because I forgot to refill it. And I want to use it to put my wetsuit on because it's open cell and without the soapy water it won't go on. I see. Very smart. Mm -hmm.